A massive welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. We're back with a brand new episode, and I feel like I want to race. Let's go and race. Let's go and win some cars. Let's complete this collection for Lucas. Pretty pleased. Some true, iconic European cars. Uh, let's go to Goodwood first. Sounds like a plan. Uh, right. What do I want to do in terms of selecting my vehicle? Because that BRZ is going to pwn them in every way. <laughs> uh, what's the weakest vehicle we have? I reckon the Dimion is probably the best one to go with. Oh, it actually does say when it's been gifted. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so I've changed my car. Hopefully that's a slightly more... I'll suggest that There we go. Uh, 350. Uh, I think that's above it, right? No, 320. Ooh. All right. This might be a challenge. This might be a challenge. Okay. I'm fine with that. Two laps of the Goodwood Motor Circuit. The audience can't wait for this. We start eight. What we're going to do is finish in the top three. And we win a Mini Cooper S. A true British icon car. Lovely car. Uh, my mother-in-law actually has one. Yeah. I love it. Actually sounds... I don't think there's been like an exhaust change to it. It actually sounds really nice. Like a really nice sounding uh, staff as well. I don't think they've changed the exhaust on it. It does sound quite nice. You hear it coming as well. Surprising. Okay, the Demio is still going to destroy them. Get out of the way. VD, VW camper van. Are they still in fashion, by the way? These camper vans. There was like a, a phase where everybody had to have one. Everyone had to have one briefly, and then sort of do them up a little bit. Put a TV in there. A bit, bit hot, bit hot. At least we're in the positions already. We're in the top three. So the Mini Cooper is in the bag right now. We we have it sewn up. Look at it. Look at it. It's so nice. An iconic vehicle. Let's get inside. Look, does it actually have a HUD like that? A little uh, HUD at the um, top of the steering wheel, at the windscreen. Do you really need that in this car? I mean, it's useful for me, I guess. Okay, 140 kilometers. 91 miles an hour. 95. I said about here. One more lap. The Dimio is impressing everybody right now. Its prowess, its ability to go quick. We're still on the first lap, surprisingly long. Nice and easy, got plenty of time. What an incredible looking game, though. I mean, Gran Turismo has always been the pretty game, hasn't it, for PlayStation? And uh, yeah, it's definitely doing that again. Very impressive. And on to lap two. Long as we make no big mistakes, we should be alright. Famous last words. Is that a helicopter filming me? Is it filming the Dimio? <laughs> uh, looks like we're split off into a couple of packs here. I'm by myself. 3.5 second lead. Um, another little pack of three cars or four cars. And some slow runners right at the back. Hot. Ooh. It's actually not a bad hand in the car, honestly. It's pretty impressive. This is what the Sunday Cup's about, though. Grinding for that particular vehicle you want. Fairly easy money, but you need the credits. You want the credits for that, that one vehicle. We've not even unlocked the, 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 the new cars yet we can get. We can only buy used cars right now. But there's still a little way to go. Hence we're working on this collection. I think it will unlock more elements of the map, which I want to uh, definitely get to at some point. Oh, 
little bit too close. Still got a nice five second lead though. Just gone down a little bit. We did clash with the wall there. A brief bit of excitement. <laughs> we did it! Come on! I knew I could trust you. Well, a pretty race. <laughs> Really? Okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't make any contact with anyone. I like that focus though. Hopefully that's online as well. Let's make it, let's have clean racing. Good, clean racing. I know a lot of you guys have been watching Max Verstappen recently. I'm thinking that's driving. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. My car collection has gone up. Nice. You can now access the club sports section of the tuning shop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You've intrigued me. So we now have a Mini Cooper in our collection. I feel very lucky. Very lucky indeed. So is the... I didn't know the tuning place was even open. Um, used cars, license, garage. Can we do some tuning in here? Uh, so change the car to a Mini Cooper. Yes, look at that interior. That is gorgeous. And we can we can gift it. But anyway, uh, tuning parts. Okay. Welcome to tuning parts. Special parts you receive as gifts are kept here. Organized separately for each car. Ah, okay. But these cars I don't own yet. So, yeah, no parts available specifically for this car. All right, got it. I'm going to try, if possible and drive this Mini Cooper in the next event. Um, I want to maybe try and turn some of the assists off. Some of the driving line assists, potentially. This may be the slowest race you've ever witnessed. Look at it. Look at it. It's weird how you also can't sort of change the um, the color. Like you, you, you get the color, that's it. There's, there's nothing you can do about it. It's locked in. Fair enough. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe you can take later on, actually, but I mean, the default car you get is a set of color. A used car, gifted car, you can't change it. At least for the time being. Do I have a, just realize, do I have, have, a, have a new Mini Cooper that has no miles on it? This is, this is the first miles I'm doing on it. Well, that's kind of crazy. Now, can I get first? I don't know. seventh. Progress is a little bit slow. There goes my team racing. Sorry. Let's just try and get third. Definitely more difficult. With, um, so there's a big bunch here. There's opportunities. A little bit of slipstreaming. Come on. Purple lap. Break a little bit. Oh, I did not like that curb. I did not like that curb. This has been a surprisingly good race so far. It's been good fun. Brakes are pretty good, considering. Of course, I've only got the uh, default tyres on now. That'll be something we obviously get eventually later on. Can we make up another place? I'm using literally all of the track. Trying my absolute hardest here. If we go 60 miles an hour. I don't think first is going to be on the cards, but second might be. I'll take that. I'll take second place. Don't you even try it. Don't you dare. There we go. Fourth gear. Took a bit of effort. Last lap. It's over. Race done. Not bad. I'll take it. I would imagine that golf has a bit more power than me as well. Oof. That was pretty crazy. Ah, oh, he had a really good last lap. Wow. A one minute nine. I, I was overtaking cars actually. So, I'll take it. Silver trophy to come back and do that again at some point. <laughs> it was a clean race. I thought we got a bit argy-bargy at one point. All right, I'll take it. Oh, baby. Damn, 
We are unlocking some really iconic cars in this episode, and I'm all for it. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to start doing decals as well as certain cars. They've really improved that element of the game. Very excited for that. I've seen people making designs already, and the game is nowhere near out yet. So very excited. Uh, yep. Yeah. Could I have won that? Eighth place in a Mini Cooper with hard AI. I think probably maximize what we could do there, potentially. All right, one more event. And then the car collection is mine. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, what vehicle do we go for? Uh, go for the Mini Cooper again? Yeah, 34 horsepower. Jeez. <gasps> they count it as an Ameri obviously German. Obviously, Min Ger Mini's now a German brand. No! That's horrible. All right, fine. It's owned by BMW, isn't it? I believe so. That feels so wrong. So wrong. In so many ways. Right, third again, or above. And we unlock the uh, Fiat 500. Which I'm all for. as late as possible. Thank you. Well, that car will still count as clean racing, surely. I mean, I'll take it if it is. Try getting the power as early as possible. Good start, though. Better start than my, our last race. Getting used to the Mini Cooper. Goodbye, camper van. I'm pretty sure this car must have more straight line speed than me, surely. Must do. A very good start. Very good start indeed. But the three up ahead are a little bit far away. So I've really got to deliver on this last lap. Just about on the racing line there. <laughs> Come on. Surely I can't win this in this car. Saying that the, the game does recommend uh, a car that's 350. Um, this, this car is not 350, it's like 250. So, that is true. Couple lap. Up on some space. Oh, wow, that was the rain. Jesus. Rain just like battering my door. Not in the game. <laughs> oh, man, I need that third place. Get out of my way! Nice little battle, but get out of my way. Can we get second again? Look at those mountains in the distance. This game is such a good looking game. Is it as good looking as Falls of Horizon? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. But it's still. Oh! Stunning in its own way. I don't want to start bringing, like. Console chance this or anything, but oh, we might have to cope for third here. I gave it my all. Maybe on normal AI, this might be doable. Still, third place on the podium. We got the prize. The car collection is done. I'll take it. Oof. I do like the fact you can just drive any car in this event. Drive whatever you want. It's, it's kind of like a cheat code, isn't it? Still double my money. We're out to 130,000 credits. That's not bad. Hello, little Fiat 500. You look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I've seen someone that's already... Um, they already have a car collection level of 18. Yeah. Apparently I'm not playing this game enough. It's madness. That is bonkers. Right, let's go back to Lucas. That is his name, right? <laughs> I might have got that wrong. And by the way, the used cars, every time I've gone back on the game, they they change. It's a completely new set of cars. I'm sure something's gonna tempt me. That's weird. Some so someone bought that? Elsewhere? That's kind of crazy. You see which one's already on your book? Which you can buy them again if you want to. Oh. It's done a fair amount of miles. I won't lie. Damn. And the Sylvia as well. The Supra. <laughs> yeah, there's some really 
limited stock. Is that? I thought I was missing a piece of his bumper then briefly. Oh, the old, the old Mazda. There's the Golf. Yes, yeah, definitely. That's got a higher rating than the Mini. It's like a cheat code using that Golf. Cheeky. Maybe it's um, it updates based on events you're doing. Maybe. It is done. What a lovely picture. Lucas! Or Luca. It's more Luke, it's not Lucas, is it's Luca. <laughs> I knew I was getting it wrong. I knew I'm terrible with names. Hi, congrats. You've got all three cars. This completes your European Classic Compact Collection. Once you've collected your reward, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. I believe you. Um, a roulette ticket. And I believe I yeah, unlocked a, a new circuit. And the tuning shop. There we go. Okay. Uh, who do we go to first? There's someone else at the cafe now? Someone called Chris? All right. Tell me about this. this these beautiful cars. Please. These are some of the most famous cars of all. A truly wonderful collection. I agree. Yeah, definitely. The world's first motor car was produced around the end of the 19th century. But it wasn't until the 20th century that mass production became the norm. It was a shift that meant that cars were produced for everyone, not just the select for it, a few. At the time, many small, simple cars were manufactured and sold at a price that, were, that was affordable for the masses. This was, the, this was made possible by the ingenious engineers and designers who were responsible for such icons as the Mini from the UK. Yeah, a truly, truly incredible car. The Fiat 500 from Italy. The Volkswagen Beetle from Germany. These cars certainly left their mark on automotive history. I sure did. Perhaps I'll tell you more about them next time. He didn't really tell us much, really, did he? Not really. Yeah, they, they definitely changed how we look at cars. Made for everybody. Ooh, so we've got two new Japanese circuits here. Finish in the top three. I can definitely do that. Luca, thank you very much. I think I might call this guy Lucas for a long time. I'm really sorry. Luca. I'm really bad with names, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. I'm guessing we need to maybe buy a car for this, potentially. Unless it's a Sunday Cup again. Ooh. I swear if I've been saying that wrong the whole time. Oh man. I'm so sorry, Luca. Honda Civic? Okay. High speed ring track day. Or oh, a proper track day. Okay, I like it. Whew. And the tuning shop is officially open for business. Oh, yes. Uh, let's go to the garage first. Do I want to tune the mini? Or is that an insult? It's a little bit of an insult, isn't it? We, sh we shouldn't touch it at all. It should be unscathed. Spin that roulette ticket. That keeps coming up. I'm not getting it. The RX-7, it just will not. Please, give me something good. Oh, no, I've already got that. Freaking crank sharp again. Oh, great. It's for the Civic. I guess that's good. My car collection is growing. Looking good, looking good. Right, do we want to try and tune? We should have a look anyway. So what is, is everything available? Or is there only certain things that are unlocked? Oh, this is so good. I'm Rupert, the owner of the tuning shop. My shop offers a variety of tuning parts to improve the performance of the cars. The parts in the shop are divided into five categories. Sport to extreme. If you're on the first leg of your adventure, you'll be starting with sports parts. I also offer drivers with a high collector's level, more sophisticated tuning parts that match their level. Also, the higher the collector level, is that, is that, is that really like my, that's my, that's, that's the way to show my level, isn't it? In the game, that, that's all we have, I think, currently. Um, I think so, is my collector level. So it's all about collecting the cards, okay. 
Uh, I see that you've upgraded your collector's level. From now on, I can sell you club sport parts. Okay. Um, I've even got power restrictors and ballasts for lowering your PB. Okay. They will be useful. Thank you very much. We have our very first set. Should we buy some tires? Some nice sport soft tires. That'll be my first purchase. There we go. A taste for tuning. A weight reduction. So I'm guessing they have to be obviously installed. Can I really do a weight reduction? I can make it even lighter. That's that's pretty impressive. Ah, here we go. It's got some dirt tires as well. Got some power restrictors. So if you want to bring down the power of a vehicle to make it usable in any event. We are about to take part in our very first championship. I was trying to decide on what car to drive. I was going to go for the BRZ, but I think that's a little bit too too powerful. Um, let's maybe go for the Fit. The Fit Hybrid. Yes, that's my car of choice. A little bit underpowered maybe, potentially, but it sort of matches up with the, with the competition. Um, as long as we get... Hopefully top three. Is that good enough? I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. I could I could cheat and just get just select a BRZ and I'm golden. I'm done. It'll be easy. But I'm making it hard for myself. So uh let's begin. Oh I'm nervous. Come on, Honda Fit. What we need is that electric energy. There should be a couple of brake corners so we can uh, hopefully regenerate the power in that way. Honda Fit. I was, I was pretty sure I was never going to drive this, but here we are. What can you do? <laughs> I thought driving a Japanese car would make sense. Well, of course. We're up to seven. If I'm concerned about it, it's maybe the guy in first. In the Honda Civic, I think someone's driving. Yeah, look at the guy in first. He's just driving away. Man thinks he's really good. He's just in a really good car. It's not fair. We're doing all right. Good progress. The Dimio. We know that car very well. Oh, that that's there goes my clean race bonus. <laughs> it's tough racing, all right. It's tough racing. Look at that iconic bridge. I love that. You can clearly see when I stamp the brakes on. Some in some games, the car just doesn't move. Ah, the Suzuki Swift. We meet again. The very first car I ever drove. It's a nippy little one. We're making good progress, though. Third place. Not even done one lap yet. In a Honda Fit. It's a pretty good car. Ooh. How's the I was saying that the energy's about to run out. Got about a third left. So that might be a factor in our speed. Come on, hybrid! You're the future! Oh, probably not, actually. It's all electric, isn't it? So annoying, because if I bought an electric car in the UK, I could... Um, use it as like a, a tax rebate uh, for my company so it make a lot of sense but I just don't want an electric car hence I just bought a GTR <laughs> um, yeah I don't know I, I'm sure I will eventually but I'm just I'm just not like the Teslas just don't do it for me at the moment they just I don't think the quality is good enough in my humble opinion I might be wrong though just hear so many horror stories with like panels not matching up. I think Tesla actually, by the way, is in this game. I don't know. Surprises you. Right, first might not be possible here. Especially if we run out of energy. So like the Honda's just a little bit too quick. Honda Civic, that is. Oh, we've got a bit closer there. Just not able to regenerate the power, am I? In this Honda Fit. Come on! 
First place will be so good. He gets away on the straights. Ugh. In the corners, I can catch up a little bit. He's just too quick. Look at that. Yeah, I've run out of energy. I'm, I'm depleted. But all I've got to try to do now is try and hold on to second place. That's my goal right now. Get around the corners, I can catch up. Is it time to rain? Is it raining? Oh my god. Wasn't ready for that. Yeah, I spotted some rain. Where did that come from? I was not expecting that at all. Damn. Okay. So, ooh. I take it. Still, that's frustrating. So close. He was catching up. He did not have the straight line speed. Honda Civic was too good. We still celebrate. So, that's race one. Uh, so, we've got 10 points. We now move on to race two. I guess the only way to win this event is to obviously come first and be equal on points. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. I am ready for the finale. To the next race. I, I'm guessing we have to come in in the, top, in the top three to win the car. I forget, is it? That stays right, isn't it? Yes, the selector. That's what uh, Luca said. Top three. Okay, so we're fine. We're, we're on the right path. Is it now wet? Oh, definitely wet. Right. Hopefully, hopefully the AI is a little bit slow around the corners and I can really try and catch up. Again, I will probably run out of energy again. Are we going another way? Oh no, that threw me off. All right, let's do it. A really good first lap would be ideal our previous race. I mean, that rain is heavy. That is really heavy. I love the, the uh, weather radar now. It's so cool. Such a cool addition. And the evolution is, honestly, like, it's, it's next level in terms of how the track dries. Coming through. Man, look at that. The tunnel is incredible. Cooked it. Ooh. Bring it back. Bring it back. It's far too quick. I don't think we lost too much time. Not, not the the best lap. That first race was a lot better. So it's going to make winning it a little bit tricky. The standing also threw me off there a, bit, a little bit. I braked a little bit late. All right, full energy! It looks like we may actually have a bit more energy this time. Maybe I, I used the brakes a bit more. Come on! Oh, the Honda Civic's actually second. No, it's not second place. No! We were second for briefly. It's not. The okay, energy has gone down quite a bit. Uh, what do we do? Still, second's not too bad. Ooh -hoo! I sort of turned in a little bit early there. A little bit naughty. The break. It's a bit late. I keep that momentum. It worked out quite well. Oh, we're closing the Honda Civic. If we can win this, I'll be so happy. I know it's uh, a bit of a <laughs> it's a bit of a slow race, isn't it? This is what I love about Grand Turismo. We're, we're grinding. We're using these vehicles. We're not instantly jumping into a freaking McLaren or a Ferrari or a Lamborghini day one. Got to grind for it. Got to work for it. Like real life. Part of me enjoys the grind more than the actual getting the fast cars. So I'm sure some people would disagree. Oh, we're very close here to Ponza Civic. He's, he's definitely closing up so much in the corners, it's so annoying. He's just, he's just too quick on the straights. Yeah, 
be on the power nice and early. It's going to get away though, look. Ah, I got in close. I've got one corner, but I've got no energy left. Just to get gone. He's gone. So it's all about trying to hold on to a uh, second again. It's still a pretty good result. I think the Honda Civic was just a little bit too, a little bit too good for us. I'll take it though. Second place in the bag. Boom. Done. Perhaps I, I will go back to normal AI. <laughs> it depends on what vehicles I select. It really does. Set the fastest lap as well. Yeah. Is there much more I can do? Yeah, so that's it. confirmation. Um, are we, do we finish in exactly the, exactly the same positions in both races? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Okay. Fair play. You were second overall. A nice little extra bonus there. And we unlocked a what? The Integra Type R is mine. So we basically got three cards. I thought we got all car all of those cards at one point. Not true. Uh, we, only, we, we only get one. I think I got the best one. Integra Type R. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Oof. I was like, I was like, did we get all those cars? Surely not. I wonder if we finished first, would that have changed it at all? Would that have gave us maybe a fourth car? Or another set of vehicles? So the next collection is Japanese front wheel drive sports cars. Okay, should we um take a look? There's my collections already. Should we open it up? I've got one already. Go me. Um, I have a feeling these might be, they, they may not let me know how to actually get these. I might have to buy them myself, potentially. For this menu, you'll be collecting Japanese front wheel drive cars, sports cars. In FF cars, the engine sits at the front of the vehicle and the front wheels are driven by its power. Japan has plenty of fun FF cars. Collect three of them and come back here when you're done. So we've got Sakuba and Suzuka. That's where we need to go next to unlock the next two cars. And we now have Brand Central to purchase brand new cars, zero miles. It's, it's, we've unlocked it. Here we go. The Taycan, see the full GT go past. Brand Central offers new cars from around the world produced or after 2001. There are 50 brands here from the US, Europe, Asia. Some brands also have their own museum where you can learn all about their history. Enjoy having a look around Brand Central. I will. Ooh, okay, this is really cool. Nice to meet you, Game Light. I'm Martin, your car advisor. If you wish to know more about a car, I'll be more than happy to help. Okay, what a man, what a dude. Right, we have to go to Asia first. I'm sorry. <laughs> it has to be done. Has to be done. There's even a Gran Turismo manufacturer. Love it. Nissan. I don't like the new logo, Nissan. I don't like it. I really don't. Not a fan. Sylvia, the fair ladies. So this is the car I had, the 350Z. Love it. Absolutely love it. In terms of... Oh. Oh. The new Datsuns here. <laughs> the new Z. The Z Performance. It's, it's, it's slightly quicker. So it's 405 horsepower. I actually really like the look at this car. It's the first time I've seen this car in a video game. Can I learn more, please? Studio scene. I guess that's already the studio scene. Learn more. Oh, here we go. This is the latest entry from Nissan's world famous Z car range. There have been seven generations of Z cars over the years. The first ones went on sale in 1969. That is true. They're now some of the world's best known sports cars. Yes. Yes, I love them. Look, at, they look so good. I want this car so much. So it's got a, a new turbo unit. Really? The 3 litre V6 twin turbo. 
It's got turbo in it now. Wow, okay. It's also, also benefited from uh, specialist tuning, improving its power and its throttle response. And I want that. I want that badly. Real bad. I think it's like one of the first cars we end up buying. Uh, this is my car. I do own the slightly older version. So I, mine's a 2011 version, I believe. I got a safety car. <laughs> but the Nismo, the R34, truly an iconic car. Incredible car. The Silvia touring car. I love this car. The Gran Turismo sponsoring, the PlayStation sponsoring. Such a cool car. I love the GTR cars, man. I'm such a fanboy right now. There's a GTR rally car? I was not even aware. And the brand new concept car as well. There's so much I want to buy. It's stupid. It's annoying. You start saving up. Nice. It's even got the, um, the Halo now as well. One million. All right. So you've got a Toyota version and you've got a Honda version. I'm not specifically sure why that is, but fair enough. Right. So where else should we go? I can't even imagine the amount of Fords are in, in here. It's going to be madness. Absolute madness. The Mustang, the Raptors, Shelby's, Mustangs. Oh! This is crazy. 1.6 million? Oh, damn. I need to start working out how to earn credits quickly because. Whew! Whew! I feel like McLaren's all the same to me, honestly. Is that controversial? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, as you can say, as you, as you, as you can tell, hopefully, very excited for future videos. Bagani. I'll probably do a, a video where I show literally every car in all its glory. So look out for that. <laughs> it looks like a Lego car. What the hell? 1,000 horsepower. 1,600 horsepower. What the? How do you possibly even drive that? Michelin, what's this about? It's just, oh, okay. Look at our Michelin tires. They're so great. Ferraris. Oh, what we got? Trying to work out if there's any cars that should be here that aren't here. But I haven't spotted any yet. Of course, they're all red. The iconic red. Uh, oh, there's a few missing here, actually. Where's the F40? Did I go past it? The La Ferrari. 458. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, that's my first one I've noticed that isn't here. That should be here. 100%. Oh, is there, um, is there Tesla? Should we confirm that? Yep, Tesla is in the building. Tesla is in Gran Turismo. Oh, it's the Model S and that's it. <laughs> okay. Really? That's kind of disappointing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Some driving, we unlocked the, the brand central. We can buy new cars after 2001. And uh, yeah, can't wait for the next video. See you guys soon and bye-bye.